Hi guys, so as you know, tomorrow is September 11th and um, a lot of people are remembering uh, what happened on 9-11 years ago and I took the time out to actually visit a lot of my favorite memorials this week over in um, Bayonne, Jersey City and I actually went to New York to visit the memorial there and I thought I would share them with you guys just in case some of you guys have not been able to see some of the ones that we have here. I don't know if you guys follow the news as to know um, how much Jersey City and just Hudson County, actually everyone in the world was there. Everyone helped out. Everyone from across the, the country helped. We have people, um, fire trucks and emergency responders from other states that came over and assisted um, New York and New Jersey on that that day but living firsthand over from um, right across the river from you know where 9-11 happened you know we were one of the first people that saw everything from it was almost like watching it on television and it's so surreal it's it still hits us every day and every time we see that skyline it it never we never forget we really don't and you know i figured we'd take this time out again to remember that day remember the victims remember what happened and just be thankful that the rest of us are here and that we can just live day by day. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is some of the footage of some of the memorials. It shouldn't be a long video, but um, you know, I, I live very close to a lot of them and thought that I would capture them for those that don't live near us and may not have memorials standing up for the victims that was lost that day. This is the same view that I had on 9-11. So you can see that's the Freedom Tower in front of us. And I remember seeing um, I remember seeing the World Trade Center on fire and listening to the radio at the same time. They mentioned that uh, it actually was not a fire. It was Go ahead, bye. It actually was not a fire, but uh, it was that a plane had gone into the first building. So, um, yeah, this was my view on that morning. This is a corner where I actually volunteered to help out on 9-11. I remember packing up the, the boats from this point on where they actually sent um, you know water bottles and necessities over to the site it's part of the World Trade Center there that they have as a memorial from the Jersey City side
lived on 911, the first building of the two that look alike. And I remember being on the roof and seeing the second plane come over the turnpike here from Newark Airport. I saw it hit the second building and this is the street I lived on when they both came down. First time here, they say it's a beautiful memorial. It's really big. I didn't think it was going to be that big. It's supposed to be a teardrop. brick layouts on uh, the pathway here it looks like they took donations from these people to make the monument possible This goes all around the base. And again, there goes the Freedom Tower. It's right across from the Bayonne to New York. who lost their lives in the terrorist attacks on our country on February 26, 1993 and September 11, 2001. So I guess uh, some of these are from the bombing of the World Trade Center in 1993. We have one there from 93. This one here, Patricia, was on Flight 93. September 5th and uh, this is what the New York skyline looks like right now with the lights for 9-11 
Empire State Building. That's Times Square right there, right? Uh, yeah. It's the New York life right now. We will be on that side of the river in a couple of minutes. That big bright screen, yeah, by H and M, right? Yeah, that over there and that bright screen back over there, that's a this part of it. way up. So I think it's in between them too. He's talking about that bright screen right there. That is Times Square. Yeah, I just saw it turn on. Beautiful moon out tonight too. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Sorry guys, it's somewhere. Uh, there it goes. <laughs> it's crazy, the moon was out all day today. And again, there goes the lights for World Trade Center. Alright guys, here's a better view of uh, Times Square in New York from the New Jersey side. You see how wide the avenue is. I am so glad I'm not stuck in that traffic. Uh -huh. <laughs> it literally takes like 20 minutes to get through there. Mm -hmm. from, one end to the other. from one end to the other. In 20 minutes is being generous. Yeah, it really is. That is a gorgeous view of the Empire State Building. And then New Yorker. And then over this way. Is... We have to keep an eye on the car because I think this is... World Trade Center. It's residential parking, right? And then over here on the Jersey side, there is a baseball field there that we didn't even know existed, right? Yeah, won't be. Hey guys, I don't know if you can see the people behind us, but it was so cute. He just proposed to her and she said yes. And we took the pictures, so <laughs> very excited. Very good night so far. We didn't even get to the casino yet. Yes. It could only mean that uh, we're gonna have better luck, right? <laughs> All right, let's cross the street without getting hit by a car. See you guys later. We totally walked right past it. It's so weird because you don't see it while yeah, you're walking by it. That's what I'm saying. Like, it was totally behind us the whole time. We're in New York, guys. And that's the concourse that they're building outside. that glare wasn't so bright up there. Beautiful this bike is. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to the museum store. I would just like to give you some brief information real quick. The people outside to sell the magazines outside have nothing to do with the family members. This is a very important week for the family members, and they do not support the family members or the museum. So I'm just letting you know that information. Thank you very much for listening.
Let's get to now. The proceeds go over to the families of the 9-11 Memorial World Trade Center Power Station 9-11 Memorial Museum. That's where we're going next. Oh, that's the crossing. That's the new concourse that they're building. Yeah, no, we have the right of way. We're from Jersey people. I think we always have the right of way. The people are falling victim to the to the hustle. Yeah, I don't know if you guys heard. Um, inside, you see these guys here with the books. The guy from the store said that those proceeds do not go to the families of the victims. No, thank you. They're trying to get everyone out here. It's a shame because everyone from the families are out here and remembering the victims and this is what you have to deal with. Yeah, that's what the concourse is gonna look like. Looks beautiful actually. And that's another angle with the Freedom Tower right behind it. we were gonna go but it's a very long line to get in and we're gonna have to go and pick up the kids from school so won't be able to do that here goes what side was this you know we go to the other where the other tower was we don't remember which one was north and south right some kind of 9-11 special.
Look how tall this building is. That's the museum right there. In case I didn't get it before, I don't remember if I got it earlier on. And another angle, the Freedom Tower. You know that the greasier stuff is always the yummier stuff. So my cousin and I are sharing each other's food. See how we like it? That's uh, broccoli with some kind of chicken, right? You said it wasn't spicy and a pepperoni. And don't forget to mention that all this. All this can be bought with a measly $15. dollars my slice alone with a bottle of water was eight dollars and it was 680 for the little roll and this seltzer water right there but it's awesome mm -hmm. yummy look at all that pizza okay guys so this was pure heaven and you can tell which plate it was sitting on <laughs> But we split it in half, so that's not too bad. So it took us a while to notice these, but why is the oregano in a Gatorade bottle? With a crunchy with the top. Yeah. Self made. Right here on the B3. I don't know if we can focus, but that looks freaky. I feel like someone's in there. Yeah, it looks. That's here in the pizzeria. And that is the World Trade Center site. So for some reason, these people that are selling the books out here keep advertising that little black building. We just passed by one of those guided tours. This is part of that tribute. That tribute building. I really don't want to leave New York. I love New York. Not hustle and bustle. It's always fun walking to New York, right? World Trade Center. to a random stranger. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I'm guessing that's what the inside's gonna look like? Yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. Kinda resembles the World Trade Center, the old World Trade Center. That's probably part of the intent. The design. Do, 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 do. Let's feel World Trade Center. Opening 2015. Bye, New York. Food, culture. Oh, almost we're by. We have to go down there where that whole crowd is for the World Trade. For now, the World Trade Center. Well, they're at the World Trade Center train stop. 
It says, hello tomorrow, we never forget what has gone before, yet our eyes have always been on the possibilities ahead. The West Concourse. Ooh, these are the scarves I was looking at. Yeah, I think...